Okay, what I'd like to talk about now is a simple thermodynamic cycle. Um, remember, a thermodynamic cycle is a situation like this. So let's see, I've got the um, pressure here and the volume here, right? So volume in meters cubed. Um, up here we've got pressure in kilopascals. And um, so I'd like to look at a simple triangular cycle that looks something like this. All right, so we start at point A. Uh, which has a volume of 6 cubic meters and a pressure of um, 2 kilopascals. And that's going to linearly increase in the first process. So this is um, process 1 that goes from state A to state B. Okay. And um, state B it has a larger volume at 10 meters cubed and a larger pressure at 8 kilopascals. All right. Um, and so that state, that's um, process 1 to point B. So we're going to go then from state B to a state C, straight down here which this process two has a, um, goes from eight kilopascals down to two kilopascals, all at um, a volume of 10 cubic meters. Then we go from C back to A, and that's our process. Okay. What we'd like to do is we'd like to look at the work or, um, the change in the energy here. So how much work um, is this cycle doing? It's doing work because it's going counterclockwise. Right. So um, that's a good representation right there. Um, now I'd like to identify some of the characteristics of this guy. So let's see, we have um, three states, so we're given a cycle with three states, or a three process cycle. Three processes, um, and this is of an ideal gas. Um, so state A has characteristics of pressure and volume. Okay, so the pressure again is 2 kilopascals. PA is equal to 2 kilopascals. And VA is equal to six meters cubed. Okay. Then we go to state B. Again, state B has a pressure. PB, which is equal to eight kilopascals. Here. And then the volume of 10 uh, meters cubed. Okay, additionally, um, we have our point C, or our state C. And this has a pressure, which is back down to 
2 kilopascals, so PC is equal to 2 k kilopascals, kPa, and a volume of the C is equal to um, 10 meters cubed. So now we have all of our states. Um, and what do we want to find? Alright, find. I'm going to find um, the energy um, per cycle. Um, w. Okay. So delta E has to be equal to zero, right? Because it comes back here and it comes back to the same um, spot. But energy is used in the cycle. So what's our concept? Uh, we want um, a thermodynamic cycle. And our main equation is going to be um, the work per process. So I uh, PDV. So the work is the integral uh, from the initial state to the final state of the pressure um, using the volume as the integrand. In, um, the volume, integrating over the volume. So go like this. Um, so there is an easier way to do this, and I'll give you that at the end. But I'd first like to go through the more uh, the more involved way using this um, using this formula because it's a, because it gives you a little more experience in that and. Obviously, you have other problems to do that use use this. You don't you can't just use the shortcut all the time, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this for each one of the three processes. So the first process um, is just going to be uh, this line here, this sloped line. That's the most complicated process for us. Um, our second process is going to be this vertical line here. That's going to be the easiest one for us to do. And this third process is going to be, um, it's, not, it's still quite simple. It's just, you know, one more process, excuse me, that's moved up, okay? So this way over here. So this comes from there to there, and the work done over that process is the area under the curve there. So this is the work done here, this is the work done here, and you can see this is an isochoric process, so there's no work done there. Um, so let's just calculate the work for one. Um, in this case, we know that the pressure is equal to um, mv plus b, okay? Um, and this slope here is going to be uh, what? Rise over run. So rise is um, pascal, so we have 8 minus 2, so 8 kilopascals minus 2 kilopascals over 10 minus 4, so 10 meters cubed minus 4 meters cubed. Okay, so that's 6, well, minus 6, excuse me, 6 fourths or 3 halves um, kilopascals per cubic meter. Okay, so that's the slope of this line. So, for our work, we have the integral from Vi to Vf of mv plus b. Okay, 
and that's dv. This is not one of the world's most difficult integrals. So we have minus um, one half uh, m uh, vf squared minus vi squared, right? Plus BVI, BVF minus BVI. Okay. Um, actually, th these are all also minuses. That's a minus and that's a plus because this guy distributes. Okay. So now what do we do? Um, well, if I can get this MV plus B over here, then I can just use it, right? And I can put that back in for the pressure. So that's what I'm going to do. So to get MV plus B, I have to subtract another one half here. So I add a one half M um, VF squared minus VI squared. And then I have a minus one half M or just M, excuse me, minus M VF squared mi minus VI squared um, plus BVF plus minus BVI. And all that is equal to one half M um, VF squared minus VI squared minus um, PFVF minus PIVI, okay? And I have all of these numbers now, right? Um, I've calculated the M up here. So um, this thing is equal to uh, one half times three halves kilopascals per meters cubed. This guy is equal to VF. So this is one, this goes from A to B. Uh, state B is 100 or 10. So the square is, um, uh, the square is 100. So we have 100 meters to the sixth minus um, this guy down here is six, so minus 36 um, meters to the sixth minus PFVF, which is 10 by eight. So that's going to be um, 80 uh, kilopascals times meters cubed. Notice that that's the same as over here, minus um, Two by six, so twelve kilopascals times meters cubed, and that is all equal to um, let's see, minus eighty sixty four three. That's all equal to minus twenty kilojoules. Okay, kilopascals times meters cubed is a kilojoule. Okay, so for process two, it's equal to zero, and for process three, um, we just have the integral from here to here, right? So the integral from here to here, which is going to be W is equal to um, minus VF VI um, some constant dV. So, actually that constant is just the pressure, which is a constant, right? So then we have minus um, this constant pressure times um, VF minus VI. Uh, this constant pressure is two kilopascals. So we have minus two kilopascals, all right, multiplied by uh, VF minus VI. VF in this case is state A. 
So we have 6 meters cubed minus 10 meters cubed. Um, so 6 minus 10 is minus 4. Jump it. Let's see. 6 minus 10 is minus 4 times 2 is um, times minus 2 is 8. So we have 8 kilojoules. Okay. And so the final answer, the total work, right, is going to be W is equal to uh, minus 20 kilojoules plus 0 kilojoules for part 2 plus 8 kilojoules for part 3, and that's all going to equal uh, minus 12 kilojoules. Okay, so this is work done by the system on the rest of the world. So now we'd like to check things, right? Obviously our first check is units, um, and the units for energy which is what we want, so that's fine. But we do have a good second check. This time we do have a very, very good second check because we can do it another way, which I said before was the easy way, right? So, why is it the easy way? Well, I've got a triangle here, and I know the formula of the area for a triangle, right? The area of a triangle is one half base times height. In this case, the, bite, the base, excuse me, is um, 10 minus 6 or 4 kilojoules or 4 um, meters cubed. And the um, height is 8 minus 2, which is 6 kilopascals. So 6 times 4 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. So the work is going to be minus A, because this is going counterclockwise. So this is equal to minus 12 kilojoules, which is exactly what we got down here. So um, the other way too. The other way works just as well. So this is good all around. Thank you.